wide area network or WAN technology has evolved rapidly to meet the emerging demands of industry. It's used to support the connectivity of a vast mobile and remote workforce. Metro Ethernet, or Metro E for short, is one of these new WAN technologies that internet service providers are using to support industry's complex connectivity needs. At a micro level, this approach enables customers using a small, local centralized network to access the internet. When scaled up, it links many different sites or businesses. But what exactly makes it so scalable? Metro Ethernet works so well by making use of a grid of central offices, huge office buildings filled with networking equipment strategically dispersed to be close to their customers. The problem is, the further apart the customer and the central office equipment are, the more limited the options they can offer you. At the end of the day, technology has its limits. Some cables can only work effectively within a 10 km radius. Take a copper wire. Speed decreases as distance increases. This is why some central offices will refuse some customers' business that are far away. Now that you're familiar with the benefits and drawbacks, how does it actually function? Imagine you work for an internet service provider in Australia. You've been asked to provide connectivity for a multinational company, Bandelier Industries. Bandelier's Sydney and Seattle locations will need to connect to a local central office. Your company can provide connectivity to a central office for Sydney, but Seattle will need to find its own local ISP. Behind the scenes, your company will connect the Seattle locations to your services, but first, you need to make some decisions. First, you need to have a look at Bandelier's requirements, your equipment's technical specifications and their location's distance from the closest central offices to ascertain whether you can provide the service they desire, as well as how much they plan on charging you for it. So, how do you provide this connectivity? Well, at the central office, you'll need to take the connections from Bandelier's routers and combine them using specific switches with a high number of ports. The central office will then combine or aggregate them into larger groups of interconnected switches and other networking devices to enable the interconnectivity of communication between other central office sites, such as the one in Seattle. Pretty incredible, isn't it? You'll be learning more about this incredible WAN technology in this subject as well as others. You'll learn how to monitor, manage and maintain network infrastructure and troubleshoot and resolve network failures. You'll also use network infrastructure security to mitigate potential threats. WANs are the nerve center of today's enterprise level organizations and play a vital role in how modern enterprises work. Are you ready to take on the challenge?